Hey everyone, so I started on a new crazy journey. Um, I got myself a rail board, which is sort of the latest version of the Chapman stick. Um, I've been eyeing the Chapman stick for quite a number of years, uh, even before I started with the Eigenharp. So um, I thought, well, let's give this one a go, um, since I really liked learning new instruments and, um, and exploring what is possible. So I thought I'd record as a first video, not really <laughs> about me playing because I really can't play anything and it's gonna be quite a while um, before something decent comes out but there's a few stupid little things that um, I didn't know about when I got the rail board and I didn't even think of these things beforehand and if someone would have clearly written them down or made a video about it I would have you know, maybe spent a few less hours just figuring out what was going on. So the first thing is, <clears throat> if you're coming from a guitar, um, you're used to tuning your strings as open strings. So um, the first thing that I did was I just plucked the string like this. And I was like, wow, this is a weird sound. Uh, but let's tune these sounds. And obviously that didn't work. So the way that the tuning is organized uh, on the stick is by pressing down on the first fret. Now there is a major difference between uh, the rail board and the other sticks in that there is a lot more space at the top here um, for the first fret. So it looked to me when I was just looking at other examples that the first fret was actually the second fret. So I, I was quite confused. Um, so you really have to look at the first fret on your rail board and that is going to be the first fret that is going to be uh, the pitch of uh, the string that you're tuning. And then the other thing that is sort of uh, difficult is you, you will be tapping down here and tuning like this, which doesn't work. And similarly, um, this, the, the sounds that are being made here seem to be quite difficult to be uh, detected by a few tuners. So I read somewhere that it's actually easier to tune in the middle, where you've got uh, the second marker on the rail board, which is a fifth uh, above the the pitches of the of the of the, stri of the strings that you do you know, the the standard pitches of the strings, and then you can just hold down your finger here and go to uh, the tuning peg here and um, change the tuning of the string while holding it down and releasing it a little bit and tuning it, um, which is much much more convenient than the other way around. Um, so this is just a fifth, a fifth higher, um, which is which is quite easy. Um, so another thing that um, you know took me quite a while is that the rail board has stereo on this stick, any stick has got a stereo output here at the at the bottom, which is sort of split out, and they they give you a few cables. One of them is uh, a cable with XLR connectors that you're supposed to connect to uh, phantom power to get active. Uh, your active pickups working, which is great. Uh, another one that is just, just splits out to two jacks, which uh, uh, gives you a passive connection, which is great also. But it takes up two channels and you have to configure all this stuff. And it, I didn't really realize that I could uh, just take a standard guitar jack and flip this little switch here at the bottom, which is right here, flip it, flip it to the other side and it goes into mono mode and you can just play it very easily uh, as a one channel instrument which um, you know at the stage that I'm in which is nowhere is it's, it's all I need I don't really need anything fancy and uh, I just need to make sound so that I can hear what is going on another thing is how to uh, put the stick on so in some of the literature it says to first put your um, so your, your arm through the strap and then your neck and then you're, you're still holding this instrument which is actually heavier than I thought so I, I find it much easier to first hook in the belt hook, and then you know the stick or railboard is just resting very easily, and now I can very comfortably put my arm through it and it's working. Um, uh, what else or some other things? Um, yeah, so when I when I first you know started trying things out with it, I was like I saw pictures um, of people that had their stick very close to their body they were like playing like this 
and I find this very uncomfortable. I couldn't really get my hand into any nice curvature. So um, what I was doing, I was trying to strap the stick close to me by having this strap quite tight or underneath, uh, my, low, lower underneath my shoulders. Um, and then I tried to just have it let go, just fall forward a little bit. This gives me more room for my arm and it makes it easier to, to, you know, to play shapes that are open with the fingers a little bit stretched out. You're, I'm able to raise my elbow um, and you can still see the, the surface of the, of the rail board since the belt hook is uh, angled a little bit in this direction, allowing you to still have a glance over, over what is going on here. Um, and then one final thing, um, and this took me um, the whole day, so I was playing standing up and be because um, Stick Enterprises didn't have the extension anymore at the bottom where you can rest the stick on, uh, on, your, uh, on your thighs and without hooking it into your belt hook, it, it doesn't stay in position. And just sitting down with a belt hook doesn't work since your since you, your uh, your thighs just push it up. Um, so in one of the forums, I read this, which is actually quite handy. I just took a strap out off of one of my carrying carrying bags, um, and I'm I'm hooking this you know in in here. So I I get a belt out of it, make a belt out of it, and I make this a little bit loose so that so when I put the belt around my waist which is not well, the strap around my waist. I make this a little bit loose. Um, and then when, when I've got, so this belt here, I, I can hook you know, the stick in the belt and it's going to hang a little bit lower. But when you're sitting down, it's going in between your legs and you can open your legs and it's actually in the correct position. So this is an easy and cheap way to, to play the stick sitting down um, which is more comfortable when you know when you're practicing, which is going to be all the time for the you know, first couple of months. Um, so yeah, that I think that's about it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be recording videos about this regularly or not, but I thought that you know this sort of <laughs> first day realizations um, might be useful for some other people. So see you out there. Bye.